Season 5 is here for Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2, and we have a whole bunch of new weapons, modes, and maps, so now is a good time to make sure our controller settings are the best they can possibly be. And we start with arguably the most important controller setting, and that's the button layout. Our button layout should serve us in a couple of ways. Firstly, it should be comfortable and intuitive. Then secondly, it should enable us to do all of the different movements and mechanics in the game as easily as possible, which is the reason some people go out and buy a scuff controller or something similar with paddles on the back, or others just play claw. But for most of us with a normal controller setup, I recommend using Bumper Jumper Tactical. This makes it so when we want to crouch or go prone or dive, we click in the right analog stick. But then when we want to jump, we use the left bumper. By simply changing these buttons around, it means that you can comfortably do all the important movements in Call of Duty. So that does mean jumping around a corner or drop shotting. And most importantly, it means we don't have to take our fingers and thumbs off the controller to do so. So we can keep our trigger fingers on the, well, trigger. Next up, you do have the option to actually flip your bumpers and triggers. So by switching this on, it means that we shoot with our right bumper instead of the right trigger. This allows us to actually shoot a few milliseconds quicker. So if you are looking for those tiny edges on your opponent, I do recommend switching this on. And then for stick sensitivity, this is where it gets quite subjective. So generally, I always say go as high as you can possibly go on this until you start missing your shots. But if you are looking for a specific number, the lowest I would go is six and then you can try and slowly increase from there. A good tip I would do if you are looking to increase your sensitivity so you can spin round on people a bit quicker, so straight away whilst you're watching this video, is to just turn it up a couple. Then once you've done that, you can come down to ADS Sensitivity Multiplier. This essentially determines what your sensitivity is when you're actually aiming down your sights. So by turning this down to 0.8 or even lower, it means that when you aim in, it's going to be a lot slower and more controllable. But you can still have your high sensitivity to run around the map and snap on people so this way you get the best of both worlds. Next we have automatic sprint. Make sure you've got this on automatic tactical sprint. This means that you just have to push forward on the left analog and you'll automatically go into the fastest sprint possible. This improves your movement a lot and gets you out of some sticky situations. For interact and reload behavior we want to prioritize interact. This means that we save a second or two every time we loot up in warzone. For armor plates behavior put it on apply all. This is fantastic for when you're in the thick of it. So you want to put your armor on but you still want to focus on running away and getting into cover. By having on apply all, it means that you can just click it once and then focus on getting away. Then as we come to advanced, of course, you do want on aim assist. And then for the type, I recommend default or black ops. These are on average the strongest aim assist types across all distances. For the aim response curve, I recommend dynamic. For your ADS transition timing, put this on instant. For your dead zone inputs, put these as low as you can go until you get stick drift. Stick drift, by the way, is just where your aim starts drifting away even when you're not touching your analogs. This just means there's a little bit of wear on your controller. When this does happen, just turn these up slightly until that stops happening. But do be careful, because really you want these settings as low as possible, so you get a more instant reaction when you press your analogs. If you have this too high, you essentially lower your response time. Now as we come down to movement behaviors, you want to turn off a lot of these automatic mantle settings. I find that they just completely get in the way and can throw you off. For example, you might be trying to jump shot someone, and then next thing you know you're just trying to mantle over a car. You definitely don't want that and you want to be in complete control, so switch all of these off. For invert slide and dive behavior, put this on inverted. This just means that we tap to dive rather than hold the button in. This can save us a few precious seconds if you're trying to dive out of trouble. Then we have parachute auto deploy. I always recommend switching this off because we can pull up our parachutes manually much closer to the floor than the automatic response does, which just means we get on the floor quicker, can loot up quicker, and be ready for action. For weapon mount movement exit, switch this on, and put the exit delay on short. It means that if we are mounted up and shooting someone, we can get out of trouble as quickly as possible. So they are the best controller settings for this season, and now that you are finished up here, I recommend checking out the best graphic settings for this season too.